Today is the last day of school for some kids in Franklin County, Vermont, but at one elementary school, celebrations were interrupted by some disturbing graffiti. NBC5 Sid Bulay explains why the people behind it could be facing some serious charges. We have not experienced anything like this before. Sheldon Elementary School dealing with vandalism on school grounds this week. Some of it was racially motivated, some of it was homophobic, um, the, there were slurs and there were images spray painted on quite a lot of our equipment. Staff found the graffiti Monday morning and immediately called Vermont State Police. We come across vandalism complaints uh, pretty frequently and even sometimes at school grounds, but um, it, it crosses into a different territory when there is that hate speech element and uh, there are racist and homophobic slurs. Sergeant Michael Filipek says police have been looking at this image from security camera footage showing three people getting out of a silver sedan and running towards the school playground early Monday morning. And the quality of the, the footage is kind of challenging right now, but we're looking at other surveillance footage that is in the area in hopes of narrowing it down. On Tuesday, some remnants were left on the playground, but staff worked hard to clean as much as they could before the last day of school. They were written on um, playground structures. They were written on the pavement, sidewalks, um, pretty much a, just a lot of the surfaces on the playground, unfortunately. Both Philippec and CODA say this incident goes against what the community stands for. A very kind, hardworking community. Uh, one that is also accepting of different types of people and different backgrounds. And across the district, CODA says work will continue to promote acceptance of diversity. This is a perfect example of why we need to continue to do the work to make sure that all of our students feel valued and safe and respected. Vermont State Police say while the graffiti is a misdemeanor crime, the hate speech used could bring a harsher sentence from the Attorney General's office. The expectations within our community is that um, this, this type of behavior is not tolerated. And for the last day of school, Sheldon sent home pamphlets for parents with resources for talking to kids about hate crimes. And they'll continue those conversations in the fall. And Sheldon, Sid Bulay, NBC5 News.